So the tournament has reached its sharp end. Just two games left after this one, but they could not be any more different. There is the third-place playoff, which nobody wants to be in, and, of course, there is the final, to which everybody aspires. The fates of these two sides at the end of the day could not be any more different. It truly is massive. Minerau, a truly impressive arena here, high up in the great altitude of Belo Horizonte. The strains of the national anthem of Brazil. Got the juices flowing, and now this. Two wins and the champions. In that sense, it could be simpler. Yeah, it's a, a tournament that has skipped along at a great pace, Peter, thanks to the, the drama and the excitement we've encountered. And I'd like to think that the best is yet to come, and we have four very worthy contenders aiming to lift this trophy too. There's the whistle. So, Jim, who would you identify as the key man in this fixture? Yeah, Nicholas Otamendi. He's a, a fine defender, both in the air and on the ground, and a, a real tough competitor who, who loves a physical duel. He knows how to pick out a pass too, and he'd be looking to get his team moving forward as soon as any opposition attack breaks down. He often likes to step into midfield. Well, quite no argument for me on that one. And it's Danilo. And here's Gabriel, he's had a shot! And that's caused the worry or two. Gabriel did give it a fair old crack, and he'll be encouraged to step up again. Paredes. Paredes gets it out to the wing. Ball is over the line. Ball has crossed the line, and it's a throw. Anything noteworthy in the early part of the match, Jim? Well, I think both teams probably feel it's, it's too early for either to start taking real risks. So they're still very much in a phase of, of testing the waters and, and sizing each other up. Face to face with the keeper, tries a shot! Same again, same outcome. This is proving to be a very good spell, the intensity is great, but uh, they've got to make it count. Paredes. Neither side yet able to find the net. And for a moment you felt that was going somewhere, but they'll have to go again. Ball's gone out of play. Doesn't get the pass he's looking for. And 
it's Gomez. Gomez finds himself eased off the ball. That's surely a foul free kick. Lovely feet. Out towards the flank. And it's Gomez. He wasn't very far from making something happen by himself. Lovely to see. Oh, that's clearly not what he wanted to do. That's not going to make it. Taliafico. And it's Gomez. Gets the better of his man. Taliafico tries to head towards goal. Hoists it forward. Gets away from his opponent. Oh, that's nice. A chance to play it in. Taliafico gets it away. Now it's Aguero. Forward it goes. And helps available out wide. Messi really just wasn't quick enough then. Well, his thinking certainly wasn't. Didn't make use of what I felt were some very good options. He gets past his man. Both sides a bit too casual in possession. Oh, super tackle. They were outnumbered and under the cost. That had to be spot on, and it was. And Messi! Danilo plays it forward. Neymar. Needs a bit of penetration to go with all this possession. Hulk. Neymar. And that's sprayed out wide. It's a great ball. Chance! He's pulled off a fine save. Oh, that's a sparkling save. Absolutely sparkling. His reflexes were ultra sharp. Has a pop! He's delivered all right! Well, players of his stature just live for moments like that. Another really important contribution as we near half time, and it can make such an impact on each mindset. Oh, whose goal is that? Big deflection. That's one for the dubious goals panel. Brazil. And the semi final reaches halfway. There we are, off they go for half-time. The breakthrough did indeed come in the first half, but there has only been that one goal. It is very, very tight. I'm sure they'll be very happy with the first-half performance and the scoreline. They'll definitely want to maintain the momentum now and finish the job. Brazil leading 1-0 at the break. And we are already promptly back on the way. A solitary goal. That has been the... Goes for goal! And he heaves it forward. He's offering an apology for that. He needed to deliver a better ball. Casemiro. And here's Hulk. Now it's Gabriel. Oh, it's opened up nicely for him. 
chance to Gabriel! Oh, taken with style! A two-goal cushion, and it's looking safe! Oh, it's a keeper's nightmare, Peter. He just couldn't pick up on it until it was way too late, having so many bodies in front of him. Things starting to look very comfortable. That second goal is such a, a polarizing effect on prospective moods. I mean, one team are under more pressure now to get the next goal, and the other will fancy their chances of turning two into three. It's a very good battle there, terrific to watch. Danilo. Now it's Hulk. That's the sort of defending that is going to upset the opposition. It already has, actually. Yeah, and having notched a goal already, Peter, he's not going to be allowed to run off the shoulders as much as he'll want. Gabriel! Oh, real and Hulk! And he doubles up the chance! Looks offside, I think. Yep, the flag is up. Oh, his goal-scoring celebrations are going to be cut short. The flag was up for offside, even if the referee didn't spot it straight away. Disappointment and relief on either side. Nothing doing. Well, there is some activity down on the touchline. It seems there's going to be a change. Gets it upfield. Paredes battles to win it back. Well, he certainly caught him there. It's a free kick. Well, the ball's come loose and the chase is on. Forward tracking back like that, always appreciated by the crowd. I think it's great to see that kind of application and desire from a forward who wants to help out his defence. I, I think, you know, any good team really, your striker should be the first line of that defence and, and he's delivering. I think that's offside. Yes, it is. Taliafico. Di Maria. Oh, that's a foul. Free kick's been given. Taliafico. Hook. Playing his defensive capabilities there, that's no striker's tackle. Well, they say that your front lads should be that first line of, um, of stopping the opposition, and I think he's taken it to another level with his desire to get back and, and help everyone out. Gabriel, <laughs> still going, where to next? Now it's Hulk. Has a hit! Away from immediate danger. Neymar. Massive lead! And more, and more, and more! And the lead is extended still further. Yeah, looking back at that, that's how you play on the counter. Quick and decisive and ruthless with the finish. I thought it was a stunning, stunning breakaway. He's made it three, quite a day at the office for him. That defence must be sick of the sight of him. He's been persistent and ruthless all game. He just hasn't stopped working. Argentina can make their change now with uh, a break in play. Well, he's worked so hard for a side, uh, as you would expect, but you couldn't help notice that he was starting to, to labour a bit, so it's no surprise. Three without reply. This is becoming a stroll. And it's Neymar. Brazil ran themselves into the proverbial cul-de-sac there. Good challenge, he just stood firm. Now it's Neymar. 
What an adventurous run from a defender. That'll be a corner. Got a throw in. And here's Hulk, Gabriel. And the assistant referee has his flag raised for offside. Acuna. Yeah, he's pulled him up for that challenge. Five minutes left on the clock. Casemiro is the guilty party there. Well, what goes through a player's head at times like that is a mystery to me. Oh, what a ball! Di Maria. Tries to get it forward quickly. Messi. Into the box. Danilo. Four extra minutes added on. Now it's Gabriel. Plays it out to the wing. It's a throw in. to the keeper and try something new and that will be the final act Brazil are the winners in a one-sided semi-final so Jim how do you reflect on what we've seen well to go this far it has to be on merit with substance and this is more evidence of uh, worthy contesters